Red Carpet Curls YouTube channel. My name is Queen Monroe, also known as Adrian Monroe, and I am the founder of the entire Red Carpet Curls platform and redcarpetcurls.com. So today's video is one that I think I've filmed about three or four times already, <laughs> but each time I filmed it, I continue to get better and better, and I promise you this is the one that will make it to the YouTube. I promise. So today's video is an in-depth review and demonstration of my Anasi Naturals wash day. I am a huge fan of Anasi Natural products. What can be better than an all-natural CGM company that gives you flawless, beautiful, shiny, frizz-free curls every single time? So if you follow me on Instagram you and, and Facebook, you'll see that I've done countless posts about Anasi Naturals Wash Day. They always come out amazing, bomb every single time. And with this video, I'm going to show you what you have to do to get bomb curls like me. So as you can tell, I need some help with my hair today. This is about two week old hair, so about day 13 or something like that. And I wish you can see all the build up from the from from past products that I have because I've had I've not have time to wash my hair lately. So since my hair is really full of build up and a lot of dandruff and everything, I think it's the perfect time to show you the strength of the Anasi Natural Soothing Mint Clarifying Shampoo. So the Soothing Mint Clarifying Shampoo is my exclusive clarifying shampoo simply because it gets the job done. It is a sulfate-free clarifying shampoo that removes all forms of buildup, including silicone buildup, if it ever happens to be in a product that you don't know it, it's in the product, you can clear it up with a sulfate-free clarifying shampoo. This one's my favorite because it has peppermint oil in it, so it gives a really nice, clean tingle, but it doesn't strip your hair the way sulfates do. So I'm gonna take you into the shower with me. <laughs> uh, it's a little bit darker in there. I don't have a ring light or anything in there. So I'm gonna show you how I remove all my buildup from two week old hair with the Anasi Natural Shampoo and my handy little scalp brush. So let's jump in. And we made it to the shower. Okay, so as you can see, this is my bottle of the Anasi Naturals Soothing Mint Sulfate Free Clarifying Shampoo. As I said, it's my all-time favorite clarifying shampoo because it's strong enough to remove all kinds of buildup, including silicone buildup. It suds up very quickly, as you can see in the video. And I love that amazing peppermint essential oil fragrance that it has. Combined with my scalp brush, I get that really deep clean feeling as if I'm starting over for the first time to do the method. It really is a fantastic shampoo. So these are my results from just the shampoo. As you can see, my hair is very light. It still has moisture in it, which is fantastic for a clarifying shampoo. And now I'm ready for my deep conditioner. So the Anasi Naturals Mango Hemp Restorative Deep Conditioner is one of my favorites. It's great for those who are just starting the method, so therefore your hair is transitioning from all the chemical and heat damage. This deep conditioner contains not only moisture, but small amounts of protein, so amino acids and stuff like that. That will help greatly. As you can see, I will be sectioning my hair and using the Curadu Hair Steamer. I love to use the hair steamer when I'm deep conditioning because the heat helps boost um, the benefits of the deep conditioner. So as I do with anything I do, I start with the BMC method of sectioning, which is five sections of your hair so that you can really, really focus on your product application and get the most from your deep conditioner. So as you can see, it's just five simple sections. You can do more or less if you want. These five sections have proven to be great for my fine high porosity 3A, 3B curls. I've never had an issue with it. So you see one, two, three, four, and five different sections. That is the BMC sectioning method. Now we're gonna go and I'm gonna show you how I apply to the first section. So remember, water is the most important thing that you need in your hair when you're applying any of these products, may it be deep conditioners or any other styling products. Water helps to um, increase the slip of the product, but not only that, 
um, the product gets to lock that water in so you have more moisture in your hair for longer periods of time. So as you can see, I like to focus on my product application by breaking the product in very carefully to every inch of my hair and I always start a quarter inch away from the scalp. So that's just the first section and you already see my hair starting to curl and clump very nicely. So I'm just gonna continue this raking method throughout all five sections of the hair. So I'm going to wet the section, add product, rake the product through, encourage the curl a bit more like I do at the end. That is what I do for my deep conditioner. I make sure to get every inch of my hair so that all that moisture and protein can go to the right places and I don't have any frizz by the end of it. So the last step of my deep conditioning is to use the Q-Redu hair steamer. Like I said, the steam helps to soften the cuticle of your hair. So if you have low porosity hair, this is a must do step in your routine. It's gonna help your products become more effective and penetrate more deeply than if you just applied the product like I did without the steam. So steam really gives your hair a boost of moisture and shine and it's gonna help all the protein and moisture from this mask really penetrate to deeper levels than they normally otherwise would have. So after I'm done with the Cuba Do Hair Steamer, I put all of my hair with the product in it into a plastic cap and I leave on for 30 minutes. No more than 30 minutes because you do not get any added benefit after 30 minutes from any of your masks you can risk going into high, high growth fatigue. So only 30 minutes. So I have rinsed out the mask and look at that moisture. Look at it, I have done nothing other than rinse out all of the mask. I'm even watching this back and shocked at how much moisture I have. That is what the Anasi Naturals mask gives you each and every time. Look at that, I can style on hair just like that if I wanted to, but I know better. I am going in with the Anasi Natural Soothing Mint Moisturizing Conditioner. The reason I use a conditioner right after the deep conditioner is because the purpose of a rinse out conditioner is to seal the cuticle of your hair, meaning it's going to seal in the moisture that the deep conditioner just finished giving you. So just like I did with the deep conditioner, I rake it through each and every section after I do the BMC section sectioning technique. Rake it in, really focus it um, on the ends of my hair because that is the most vulnerable part of your hair. That is what frizzes very quickly. I always stay a quarter inch away from the scalp because you do not want to be adding any of these products to your scalp. Remember, conditioners give leave you with a flexible film in your hair that causes buildup. So you don't want that buildup coming on your scalp. So I'm gonna finish raking it all through and leave it in for five minutes and rinse out. So now that it's all rinsed out, you can see it is very, very moisturized and now I know the moisture from my deep conditioner will be sealed in. Now I will be styling with the Anasi Naturals Aloe Hibiscus Leave-In, which is one of my favorites. It's so, so moisturizing. You can see less is more. I use pea-sized amounts every time. So if you have fine hair, pea-sized amounts. Less is more, please do not overload your hair. Then I am going in with the Coconut Avocado Curl Defining Cream. I love this custard just because as you can see, you need to be a little bit strong to get it out of the bottle. Now they have changed the um, bottle into a jar so it's easier to get out. But this custard is actually very moisturizing. It does provide a very light hold. It doesn't give you a very hard gel cast or anything, but it does leave you with gorgeous clumps. You can see they're just starting to clump with me already. So I do this in every section. I apply water first, then I apply the aloe and hibiscus leave-in, which is very, very moisturizing, lots and lots of slip. It's gonna leave your hair very, very silky soft. Then I go in with the coconut avocado curl defining custard, and I simply just add water and continue this process throughout all the sections of my hair. Remember, it's five different sections. 
and we just really, really focus on your product application. Many times we say products don't work, but it's just that our method of application did not work for us at the time. So for example, I know with my high porosity hair, it needs lots and lots of water. It's best to apply your products to soaking wet hair. That's why I apply more water to every section before I apply products. That helps me go lighter on the products and it helps me to get more moisture into the hair. So finally, as one of my last steps, I am encouraging curl definition by doing a couple finger coils to pieces of hair that I know are the most unruly. This is a great tip for transitioning hair. The parts that don't really curl too well, finger coil them. And after a couple months, you will see that it will start to define a bit better. My last step is to remove any excess moisture with paper towels from my hair as opposed to microfiber towels. And boom, look at those results. Look at that curl definition, no frizz at all. Look at that moisture. My Lord, I'm in love with myself. Thanks to Anasi Naturals products. So make sure to check out my full review on Anasi Naturals products on www.redcarpetcurls.com. It even gives you all the hyperlinks so that you can go straight to the website and order. So see you next time, ladies.